Now, I want to read a verse of scripture um, that has been one of my favorite verses for many years. It's found in Psalms 124, verses 6 through 8. Psalms 124, verses 6 through 8. It says this, Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And the verse I want to emphasize is verse seven. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. So God gives the, the, the prophetic word here that a soul can be trapped like a bird in a, in a trap. In other words, people can actually hunt for souls like they hunt for birds. And of course, birds are often trapped by hunters, whether it's a pheasant or some other kind of bird. Hunters would set traps and they would trap birds. And so the, the word of the Lord likens our soul uh, being escaped out of a snare, out of a trap of the fowler. The fowler is the hunter. And there are people that do hunt souls. I said this yesterday that your soul is the most valuable thing that you have. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? There is nothing more valuable than your soul. Your soul is the most important thing that God has given you. And remember, all souls belong to God. No one person has the right to entrap, control, dominate the soul of another individual because no one belongs to you. You don't even belong to yourself. Our souls belong to God and all souls belong to God. And so we're talking about control and we're talking about people that control the souls of other people, whether it's an organization that controls the souls of people, whether it's a church, a ministry, a minister, a so-called prophet, apostle, bishop, another believer, a husband, wife, wife, husband, whatever it is, if one person controls and dominates the soul of another, that is witchcraft, it is not of God, and that person becomes a slave. But what I want to emphasize to you is that people actually hunt souls. They actually look for people to control and dominate. It's like a pimp. A pimp looks for certain characteristics in people that they can actually sex traffic. They look for weaknesses. They look for vulnerabilities. They hunt for people who they can uh, traffic in sex and make money. The same thing applies uh, with organizations that are controlling, with ministries that are controlling, with churches that are controlling. It's, it's wicked when people hunt for souls. And, and so this verse likens our soul being delivered out of the trap of the fowler. The fowler is the hunter. So you should let no one hunt you. Let no one capture you. Let no one entrap you. Don't allow yourself to become a slave to anyone. Don't let anyone control your mind, your will, your emotions, manipulate you, dominate you. And if you've done that, you need deliverance. You need that soul tie broken. You need to be delivered from fear, fear of control, uh, fear of domination, witchcraft, mind control, deception. These are spirits that operate under control. And there are people that come out of ministries that do this. Ministries actually control the minds, the wills, and the emotions of people. Many of them actually do a lot of teaching on or over teaching on submission. Now, I do believe in submitting to proper biblical authority, but a godly man or a godly woman would never control you, dominate you, manipulate you, or use you, abuse you, or entrap your soul. They will love you, help you, release you into your destiny, cover you in love, protect you, but never control, dominate, manipulate you. They don't hunt for souls. They don't look for people to dominate. They don't entrap people. There's a lot of that going on on the internet as well. Um, people are using the internet to hunt people and to entrap people. We have cases, and, and remember, um, there are a lot of fake pages out here where people impersonate ministries. They've done it to me many times. They develop a fake page and they'll inbox you and they'll say, I have a prophetic word for you. Well, I never do that. And then they ask for money. I never do that. I'll never messenger you. I'll never 
go into your inbox and tell you, I have a word for you. And if you'll send me some money, I'll bless you. That is not me. I don't hunt for people. I don't hunt for souls. That is demonic. It is not of God. And I've had cases where people have actually given money uh, to someone they thought was me. And, and it really bothers me because I don't like to see people taking advantage of. So if you ever get an email, even a friend request, I don't even send out friend requests. If you get a friend request from a page that's, that they say it's, it's me, John Eckhart, Apostle John Eckhart, don't accept it. That is not me. Then they start speaking to you saying, the Lord spoke to me about you. First of all, they don't even know you. Okay, the Lord spoke to me about you and said, if you'll pray and fast for three days, you'll get victory. And by the way, I have an orphanage that I'm sponsoring. If you're so into it, I'd appreciate it. That is not me. That is a false, lying, deceiving person who is hunting, hunting for souls, hunting for someone's mind. They're prophets or so-called prophets that do robocalls where they actually get a list of people they can call and they'll give you a word and then they'll ask you to sow money. They're hunting. They're hunting for people. They're not looking for people to bless or minister to. They're hunting for souls. They're hunting for people they can get money from, deceive, control, dominate, and say, well, I'm a prophet to you and I have a word for you. And you'll be amazed at the number of people that get entrapped as this verse said, our soul is escaped out of the snare of the fowler, out of the trap of the hunter. If you've ever been entrapped by someone, it is not easy to get out of a trap. As a matter of fact, when a bird is trapped, it's almost impossible for that bird to escape. And so God wants to set you free. If this has been your, your, your condition, you've been ensnared, you've been entrapped, or you're ministering to someone who has been ensnared, who has been entrapped. Uh, they, they were unconscious of the fact that they were ensnared and trapped, but God does deliver the souls of people out of the trap or the snare of the fowler. Our soul is escaped and we will bless the Lord. And so that's a powerful verse that talks about the fact that your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions can be entrapped by others, can be hunted by others, can be ensnared by others, can be controlled by others, and God will deliver you out of that trap. This webinar we're, we're about to do is coming up October 2nd and 3rd. We're going to be discussing in more detail uh, how this operates, how people get entrapped, how they get ensnared, especially in religious cults, religious organizations, exclusive churches, um, leaders that are false, that want to control your life, how you can be delivered from it, how you can deliver others from it. So if you're interested in taking this webinar, the dates are October 2nd and 3rd, two days. The replay is always available. For those who've taken my webinars, we try to do one once a month. It's a part of my online school of ministry. We do quite a number of them in the area of deliverance. And I pray for hundreds of people that have come out of legalistic churches, controlling ministries, exclusive ministries, or they consider themselves to be exclusive. There's no one like us. You can't go anywhere else. You have to belong here. If you leave me, you're cutting your throat. You're going to lose your destiny. I'll curse you if you leave my ministry. You'll never prosper. Uh, and so this is something that God wants to set people free from. If you've never been involved in that, thank God you belong to a good church, but you may have to minister to someone. And how do you minister to people like this? How do you break soul ties and minister deliverance? Well, you can register for this at, at johneckhart.global. It's called Breaking Controlling Powers, The Signs of Controlling Churches, How to Set Souls Free. Souls are valuable. Souls, whoever controls the soul, the mind, the will, and the emotions of a people will control their lives, their finances. It is often the love of money is the root of all evil. People don't traffic in souls if there's no monetary uh, benefit for doing so. And a lot of times ministry becomes more monetary than ministry. It is unfortunate, but you have people that are in it for the money. 
and they will control you, dominate you without you even knowing it. And sometimes the process is very subtle. It's over a period of time. But again, they're like fowlers. They're like hunters. They set traps for souls. But God says, our, the, the, the psalmist says, our soul is escaped out of the snare of the fowler, out of the trap of the hunter. People do hunt for souls. People do enslave people in their minds, their will, their emotions. But God is a deliverer. He'll set you free from a trap, from a snare, out of a box, out of a cage, a spiritual cage. You can be set free from a cage. It's like a bird is trapped and put in a cage. People will encage souls and put them in spiritual cages. But I believe that God will break you free, bring you out of that cage, bring you out of that trap, bring you out of that snare, deliver you from the hunter and the fowler so that your soul can be free and you can serve the Lord. You know, we're commanded to love the Lord our God with all of our soul, all of our mind. You can't do that when your soul is connected to another person that demands allegiance more than God does. And there are people that are say things like, I'm the Lord's anointed, you know, don't touch me. Um, whatever I say, do, do it um, because I represent God. Well, there are men and women that represent God. I'm not against that. I'm not against the anointing, but still all souls belong to God. No one belongs to another person. No person has the right to control, dominate, and manipulate another person and use them for their benefit and for finances and entrap their soul. And we're going to talk about soul hunters, how people hunt for souls and followers and entrap people in systems and organizations and churches and groups, sometimes small groups that become very exclusive, hidden, cultic. We're going to talk about that, how to get delivered from it, because it is happening more than you can ever imagine around the world, and often in the dark, in secret, but God is a deliverer. You know, one of the greatest deliverances you can receive is not only from demons, but also from people. Sometimes you need to be delivered from man. The fear of man brings a snare. You have to be delivered from fear and control and witchcraft and domination and manipulation and curses and spoken curses and, and, and confusion and mind control and, and fear and torment and bondage. When one soul torments and controls another soul by guilt, shame, condemnation, fear, these are not things that God intends. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. God will give you righteousness and peace, which is shalom and joy. If you're not operating in righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost, you're not really experiencing the fullness of the kingdom. Living under God's government, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Of the increase of his rule, his reign and shalom, there shall be no end. To live under the rule of God in the kingdom means that you live in peace, joy, harmony. You live in health, wealth, prosperity, but to live under the control of others will, will limit you to poverty, lack, control, no joy. They take your time, your energy. They use your resources. They rob you. They take your finances. They strip you. They separate you from your loved ones. They separate you from people that love you. Uh, they isolate you. This is not God and God will bring deliverance. Thank God. So this is a subject I've been teaching on for many, many years, over 25 years. I've been teaching and seeing people come out of legalistic controlling ministries. Thank God for that. And I want to update the teaching and give you more insight on the subject. So go to johneckhart.global, register. It's going to give you a lot of revelation on soul hunters, uh, those that hunt, those that pursue, those that entrap those that control, those that ensnare people, their minds, not, not just in church, but even in relationships before you get saved, you can encounter this with people, with witches and warlocks and people that operate in powerful witchcraft spirits and control spirits that you may need to be set free from. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. All souls belong to God. I want to repeat, all souls are his. No one soul has the right to control, dominate, manipulate others. People are free. They want to leave you, walk away from you. That's their response. That's their, that's their choice, even if, it's, even if it's a bad choice. If God puts someone with you, if they want to walk away, you can love them, but you can't make people do anything 
We have free choice. It's one of the greatest blessings God has given us is freedom and liberty. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians chapter five and verse one. God wants us to be free, uh, have liberty, have freedom, freedom to serve him, freedom to obey him, freedom to live for him, freedom to enjoy him, freedom to walk in his word, freedom to walk in his path, freedom to, to live in the good land. This is what God wants us to have. 